right, everybody, welcome back. I'm back once again with yet more Planet Side 2 action for today, uh, June the 12th, 2020. And uh, I secondly turned that platoon chat down. So basically, we're gonna you're here to play more Planet Side 2 for tonight. We got an alert going on 41 minutes. And uh, for those that are brand new to my channel here and don't know have any clue what Planet Side 2 is all about, it's basically a free-to-play MMO FPS game that first came out back in 2012. And the game has gone on, gone through many, many changes over the years. Uh, changes are such as the map design here. Not this warp gate in particular, but map design overall has changed quite a bit here. Some bases, uh, some bases have existed uh, since 2012 or may have changed. And the way how the map system works has also changed quite a bit ever since 2012. The amount of changes that this game th got, has gone through over the years, it, it basically it can, it could almost write it in a novel on, through on how much how much how many changes this game has gone through. But we're not going to be talking about it here today. What we're going to be doing today is instead we're going to have a good time here. We're just going to have some fun tonight. And by fun, I mean we're going to have fun with viewers here. Whoever wants to join in here, we're just here to chill and all that stuff. So for new for new returning viewers, um, I have an update for you on the. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna have to bring up the delay for my stream for today for those that are tuning in right now. I was gonna start at 7 p.m. today, 7 p.m. MDT time, but unfortunately, I ran into some technical issues that, and I, I had a lot. I had a long conversation that I want to drop some messages to my graphic designer. Speaking of graphic de designer, uh, the new profile photos and banners are still work in progress after two weeks, but uh, we are making progress on it. Um, I just got another. A uh, batch of orders that I got from my graphic designer, and I basically um, and I there still needs to be more revisions to be made. Some were including the order, some were not. I mean, to be honest, uh, the 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 details that I put in when what I wanted with the graphic designer was not exactly complete. I didn't exactly know what I wanted. Only when uh, when the profile photos and on the other other stuff came in, only then I realized what I wanted. So it's been of a lot of trial and error and going back and forth between this person just to figure out what what we need to get to get done. So in short, we are making good progress. So hopefully next week uh, or so we will get the fine details sorted out because uh, we're because we're keeping in mind that I'm basically getting the whole thing. It's going to be for streaming and for YouTube at the same time. Uh, even today, I'm not too sure if you noticed, but I basically messed around with my uh, uh, social media settings and my streaming settings here just to see how the photo appears there. So yeah, it's still far from complete, but we are almost there. So hopefully I get to share that with the rest of you uh, sometime next week. Not too sure when, but hopefully I'm, I'm hoping it's going to be done sometime next week. So uh, what else should I bring up? Oh yes, the internet. Starting today, I finally uh, made my made the change to uh, stream using an Ethernet cable instead of Wi-Fi. Believe it or not, I was streaming through Wi-Fi before, but thankfully everything is a lot more. Hopefully, everything from now on is going to be a lot more stable. Because right now we're basically streaming through Wi-Fi. Uh, no, not Wi-Fi. We're through, it's through Ethernet cable right now, so everything should be a lot more cl uh, clear now. Also, got some good news for you. I'm also I'm, I'm also getting my internet upgraded with better download and upload speeds. With that being said, uh, I have uh, I'll have enough speed to do 1080p 60 FPS. I'm not too sure how big of a hit my computer is gonna get gonna get uh, when it comes to streaming at 1080p, but we'll 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 do well. I might consider doing a bit of a test once we get that ball rolling sometime next week. So, with that being said, let's uh, let's head on over to Mouse Southwest Gate here. We are gonna join in on the platoon action right here. We got about thirty-seven minutes on the alert. Uh, it looks like this percentage meter that you see right now is not accurate whatsoever. It looks like this percentage meter is only reflecting either Amherst or Hassan. So let's check that right now. It's not Hassan. It's not fifty-six percent of the territory. But more of Amrish. So it's a bit of a bug in the game where the first 
continent you spawn in, this meet this percentage bar only applies to the first one that you join in. For some reason, it doesn't refresh if you join a different continent. So for example, something like this, you basically have to rely on, you have to basically just have to rely on visually just to see how much territory you have. So if I'm not mistaken, the amount of territory right now, I think NC is currently in the first place since they got more, more than slightly half of the map. So with that said, let's, let's not further delay this stream here. And we're going to be heading over to South Westgate here. We got a battle underway. Let's join in on the action. Let's join in on the action here at Southwest Gate. Let's head on over to Southwest Gate. Uh, see if there is a spawn of any, if, there, if there's any friendly Saunders we got there, we're going to spawn in. And nope, doesn't look like it, no. And we're slowly getting pushed out of Southwest Gate. So we got, looks like we got more Saunders rolling out. So we are going to be joining in at Briggs. We are probably going to be, uh, depending on, depending on what the situation there is right now, looks like there's a decent amount of air and land vehicles. Trying to look at, trying to look in the map here, if how much air there is right now. Looks like there's, look, looks like there's a decent amount of air. So we are going. Oh, I forgot, to, I forgot to deploy with a vehicle. Uh, uh, I forgot to deploy directly from the vehicle terminal after redeploying. So it looks like I forgot to do that once more. But I'll try to do that next time. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, hang on a sec. Let me just run this way. Hopefully, this is the last time. If I if the vehicle terminal is hacked, then I have no choice but to do a dash like this to the vehicle terminal. So, hopefully, the stream is appearing much much more much much smoother this time around because I'm using an Ethernet cable this time instead of Wi-Fi. Okay. We're going to be using the AP loadout, countering any other armor that's going to go after our spawns here. Hopefully, hopefully, all you folks out there are enjoying the show here. We are playing, we are, I'm streaming through Ethernet cable this time around for those who are just, just tuning in. Yeah, I, believe it or not, I streamed through Wi-Fi before, but I finally made a change to Ethernet cable because Ethernet cable is a lot more reliable than Wi-Fi. Especially if you're in a desktop computer, which I'm doing right now. Also, my internet is going to get upgraded next week. So we'll see how much, we'll see how the, uh, we'll see how that goes. Okay. Let's see if we can hunt some air. I mean, let's see if we can hunt some armor down here in the ground. I'm going to go around the perimeter, see if there's any tanks we can go against. Oh, just barely missed that. I'm going to go against that lightning. Then I need to try to use cover as much as I can. Taking pot chats at the lightning here. Nope. I may have to. I may have to get that zoom. Is that lightning still here? Nope. Looks like we're do looks like we're slowly getting into space here. Unless oh yeah, it might. It looks it looks like they got that eight point covered. But we got a decent amount of armor here. This is crazy. Oh, collision. The physics in this game are pretty funny. Back cap that breaks. Oh. Uh, back cap it. Oh wait. We yeah, have 25 seconds left. Yeah, there, I don't think we can get back on point, and we have to take care of the back cap. Two minute 48 of Briggs. Yep. So for those that don't know, back capping when it comes to capturing territory in this game. For example, we're trying to push the Southwest Gate right now, but you need to make sure the territory behind it or around it is is your territory. And right now, the cap timer has gone, has got has moved from zero, and it looks like the cap timer has finally been stopped. They get back on point, and it's going to slowly go back up again. You cannot capture the territory nearby unless this cap timer is at zero. And you can see right now, it's a minute twenty-two right now, and it's going back up again. So this is for those that don't know anything about Planet Side Two. That's basically how how uh capturing territory in this game works and right now we got some intent action here let's go against that lightning there come on let's go after him. okay oh no let me get let me get a shot at that lightning two i got two shots at that lightning if i had two more i would have taken that out uh it looks like i got a, it looks like i was gonna get revived but no Okay, 
How, it, how many Sunder spawns we have left? Oh no, Briggs Laboratories, they brought in more pop there. So it looks like, look like we're going to be able to get back there in time. Yep, we're going to have to fall back to Briggs. Southwest anytime soon. It looks like nope. Yeah, it looks yeah. Yep. Yeah, the cap timer for Briggs was going back again, but they brought in more pop, and we have no choice but to fall back. Make sure to when you, once you guys get over there to uh, Briggs Lab, make sure to drop down a beacon. Yep. So everybody else can make their way over here. I can show you what the beacon looks like. Here's what the beacon looks like. As soon as you spawn in, this is what you do. You try to try to use a decent location when you use the beacon. Let's go on the rooftop here. You try to to pick a spot where it's not so obvious or easy for any foot soldier to destroy the beacon. So let's go up on the roof here. I'm gonna show you what the beacon how is deployed. So basically, you click on five. It's then this is what the beacon looks like. We are going to deploy the beacon right here. And with the beacon deployed like that. You can have your friendly squad or platoon jump down from the sky using this beacon. So you, as you can see, one player just jump, just dropped down with a beacon there with a pod. So that's what these beacons basically are. We're slowly getting to the A point here, so let's join in on the fray. Almost at A point. We need to push them out. Let's revive. That's what I like love about being combat medic. We push them out completely here. Let's see if there's an enemy router around this base here. Ooh, looks like the NC is starting to make a last minute push with the orbital strike. So let's run away. I wonder if I'm going to be far away from this radius of this orbital strike. Nope, not quite far enough. If you want to survive an orbital strike, you have to be in an interior. But we're slowly pushing them out. Still holding the J-point. It looks like it got spawns right over here. You can see most of the enemies popping up from here. So let's spawn in. And just repeat what we just did. We had to charge on point. Once you have played this game enough, you'll notice some of the similar base designs there. You basically need to, you basically know exactly where to run, how to flank, and do basically all that just to fight in this game. Just like any other first person shooter. This is no Call of Duty or Battlefield, but it's still something but it's still, it's something I have fun. You don't have to be the best shooter in this game either. The main thing about this game is that if you're willing to be a team player, that's all you really need to play, have fun in this game. So if you're a brand new or returning viewer here, hopefully you're having a good time watching my show here. I sincerely thank you if you, like, if you guys are having a good time. We're definitely living in uncertain times right now. So hopefully you folks are having a good time. And what? look at this. We got an infantry zerg towards the last Sunder. Let's join in on this action here. Cool. Nice shooting from that Valkyrie. Now that's how you call tactical air superiority. <laughs> Bad joke. Ooh. Let's uh, throw in a res grenade there. Let's throw in a res grenade. There we go. Looks like there's only a certain radius for that revive grenade to work. And yeah, it looks like we are done here. And we are doing an infantry zerg on Southwest Gate once more. And we got the pop too. But you know what? Actually, you know what? You know, just do it foot zerg. You don't, not often you'll see this. Alrighty, boys, you know, good job here. Don't push into Mount Watch Tower or uh, Mount Southwest when we redeploying on out of there. We're gonna let their friendlies uh, push in, see if they can cap their own. We're gonna okay. defend our bases real quick. So I'm gonna need to in into series hydroponics. Your squad leads will be pulling up a couple valves in a second. Okay, so we'll go to series. Over to series. Series is going down in the center of the map. So let's see if it can hold series at all. Perfect. Let's go to series. Uh, make sure to drop down a beacon so that everybody else can get on over there. Mm -hmm. over let's there. head on over to series. Oh, yes. All right. Let's repeat what we just did, except on a different base here. So this one has a little bit more close quarters, close quarters fighting here. So we go up, we go, up, we go up down, we go up these stairs and the point room is right next door. Right over here. Two, three entryways, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, watch out for those concussion grenades. You're uh, you move. You you can't move your gun as much when you get hit by a concussion grenade. That's what happens. Here's one of the entry points. 
Try to get try not to watch try not to shoot your friendly here. Especially when you're trying to make your way in here. Infiltrator down. Slowly getting in there. We're slowly getting in there. Watch out for friendly. Oh, another light assault just died. Getting on point. Then two minutes thirty to spare. Hopefully, no back caps gonna happen once we capture this place for good. Just mopping up series hydroponics. Where's the leftovers? Revive these two. Perfect. Sometimes it feels like there's not enough combat medics in during a battle like this. Oh, uh, nice park, nice parking job by this Valkyrie right here. Nice. Okay. Uh, where's the last of the holdouts here, series? Oh no, looks like they're finally done. Looks like they finally got rid of their last spawns here. And it looks like Southwest Gate is getting capped once more. And oh, let's hopefully the, the uh, hopefully our friendly right, TR is gonna get back in his refinery. Uh, thanks for picking this back series hydroponics back. Uh... Oh, we got a bastion coming in, and we finally lost Quartz Ridge, but we were so focused on the NZ here. Uh, I want everybody redeploy. Good job over here taking back series hydroponics. We're gonna be moving over to NS refineries. Make sure to redeploy over there and drop down some beacons once you guys get over there. Okay, let's redeploy. Fifty seconds in refinery. To uh, my instructions and whatever I said, thank you very much. You guys are amazing. I will be passing on platoon middle maker team. We'll be leading. Oh, J Trash One. J Trash One, welcome to the stream, buddy. Hopefully, you have you having good. Whoever you have. Oh, sorry, I have been sorry. I'm probably having problem enunciating here today. But yeah, thanks for the follows. Uh, thanks for the follow, J Trash One. I'm gonna respond to you right now, Jay, as I'm t as I'm playing here right now. Dave Frosty, this fight is all but won. So yeah, Jay Trash, welcome to the stream here. Good to see you again. Good to see you. I think this is my first time seeing your name here. So hopefully, you're having a good time here. So I made some. So if you're brand new to my stream here, I basically made a lot of changes. So right now I'm streaming with internet, Ethernet cable instead of Wi-Fi. So hopefully, there's a big difference in the stream quality here. I'm also getting, uh, getting go getting a new internet next week and getting an internet upgrade next week, so I can probably do 1080p for, finally, and the image quality is going to be a lot better. So hopefully you're having a good time. Uh, hopefully you're having a good time, Jay. Okay. Yeah, I'm just typing to you right now. Okay, just just finishing the message here. I don't want to keep you waiting with the stream delay, Jay Trash. So yeah. I'm just a mess I'm just messaging you as soon as I see a message come in. So yeah, it's all about interacting with the viewers here today. All about how I've been having fun here. So right now we're gonna have some fun by going to NS Refining here. So for those that don't know me, I personally only play TR in Planet Side Two. Yes, I only play a TR because I don't have the time to grind other factions. I'm definitely missing out a lot on exclusives that what the NC and BS have. But unfortunately, my free time in real life is a bit limited. So I basically just want to focus to one faction and just focus on the pros and cons to what faction I, I have in. So yeah, uh, I'm just messaging to you again here, Jay. I don't have a dual screen setup, so I just have my laptop here in the side there. So yeah, we are going to be heading over to the refiner here right now. Let's see what kind of action we are going to be seeing right now. And by the way, uh, Jay Trash, um, I, I, my apologies for no background music this time around. I, I've been very busy for the last few days. And uh, I basically have been looking around to replace the, the music that I got with copyright free royalty free music. So yeah. I'm basically treating uh, Twitch like YouTube now. You basically can't play any copyrighted music or anything like that because, uh, so yeah, you, it's, you, the Twitch is basically like YouTube at this point when it comes to copyrighted music. So I'm playing it very, very carefully here. So yeah, that's basically what I'm doing right now is that uh, I've basically been hunting around for new uh, copyright-free, royalty-free music. So 
the search thing hasn't been easy, especially if I want to find tunes that I actually like to uh, play to my viewers there. So right now, I think I got like six or seven songs or something, but that's not enough to fill a two or three hour stream there. You'll be hearing the same tunes over and over and over. So yeah, I'm, that's why I'm, right now I'm basically... Uh, uh, basically, have the background music turned off for a moment because I I don't want my viewers to listen to some rep to the same songs over and over without any variety. Yo, oh, you like uh, Jay Trash? Like play NC? Oh, you play NC all the time here? Oh, really? Oh, really? Cool, cool. So yeah, cool. Good to know that you're playing NC Jay Trash. So, so you play NC, J Trash. Uh, so you play uh, NC. So which server do you play? I mean, there's Soltech, there's Emerald, there's Connery, there's uh, Cobalt and Miller. So what server do you play, J Trash? I'm playing on Emerald, as you can see right now. Oh no, I went the wrong way. I need to turn around. This is how I exit this base. So yeah, I'm gonna be going around here, and we have, we're gonna finally join in on the action. We got a huge armorzor going, but we're getting redeployed to Briggs Laboratories once more. But you know what? Let's just you know what? We're not gonna be going to Platoon Waypoint right now. I just wanna want you to dis I want to display this huge armorzor going on right now. So you can see in the map on the bottom left, we got a huge armorzor going on. So let's watch this battle unfold. We will join the platoon waypoint eventually, but I right now when I display this huge armor zerg that the TR got going on right now in his front. Oh no. This harasser just did a oh yeah, no problem, Woodman. Yeah, that harasser just did a pit maneuver on me. Well done. <laughs> oh boy. I, the building. I got a pitted by harasser. I'm just typing that on the on the chat right now. I uh, got pitted by harasser. <laughs> uh, okay. Is there any targets for me to shoot at over here? Oh, you're Genodyne on PS4. So Genodyne is a, it's a server name on PS4? I never heard of that one. Speaking of PS4, uh, J Trash, I don't know if you paid attention to the news, but the devs had made some progress on this new programmer that they hired for PS4. They finally got, uh, they are finally making some progress on features that you PS4 players have desperately need, desperately are, are wanting to, to get. So they increase the sensitivity, information, stuff like that. So they are finally making some progress. They f finally released some photos on that. So yeah, PS4 is finally getting the love. I mean, I can't blame them. The the I don't know if you know this, J Trash, but the uh, dev team for the uh, for play for the Planet Side Two is not very big, so I, I can I, you can imagine that most of the developing time are going for the PC version. So they finally got a programmer that's fo solely focused on bringing over the things over the PS4. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, there's not there are not a lot of targets for me to shoot out here at the uh, watchtower here. But it looks like we are making some progress here at Briggs Laboratory. We finally pushed them out. But you know what? We're going to stay here for a bit because look at all this armor. No easy targets so far to shoot at. Yeah. Cool. So yeah, I'm not waiting for the stream delay like I told you. I'm going to respond to you on, stre on the stream chat here as soon as I see the message pop in. I'm trying my absolute best to pay attention to the viewers here. I don't, so I don't know if you know this, but I'm a, I'm a very obscure streamer there. But hopefully I'm putting my name out there through word of mouth. So hopefully that pays off in the long run. It's all about having fun at the end of the day. And by the way, if you didn't if you didn't notice this, uh, hang on a sec. By the way, if you didn't notice, J Trash, my commentary is, honestly sounds a bit rough. That's because I'm a quiet person in real life. <laughs> yeah, so it, it's going to take me a lot of practice, practice, practice. Oh, no, please don't die. Please don't die. So, yeah, my commentary sounds a bit rough because, I'm, like I said, I'm a quiet person in real life. And I'm not exactly... I haven't done this very long either. I've only taken this streaming thing a lot more seriously in the last three weeks here. So it's going to take some time to get better at this. I mean... I'm gonna, we're finally going to redeploy now. Not, not, much to see, not much to do here. But I'm going to bring up an example. Like, everybody at this point knows who Michael Jackson is, the singer. When it, came to, when it came to his music, music videos, everything like that, he did not get better at it overnight. It took a lot of practice, practice, practice. Like, just recently, you remember that... Uh, 
You remember that uh, the first time, well, it wasn't the first time, but you remember when he did his iconic moonwalk back in 83 during that Motown show? Yeah, he he really was into absolute perfection. I mean, I think in his biography or something, he basically mentioned that he was concerned about landing his toes or something properly. When the moonwalk he wasn't worried about, but small details like that most people don't think of. He was that he was that he was that dedicated to his performance. So yeah, same thing as streaming or hosting as entertaining here. It's not going to be overnight when I get better at this commentary. It's going to take some time to get better. But hopefully, but hopefully as I do this more and more, I'm going to get better at it. Heck, even right now, my profile photos and banners are just placeholder right now. I'm I'm still working with my graphics designer to get the to get them all done. It's been 2 weeks now and it's still not done. But that's because I'm going through so many revisions just to make sure it's absolutely perfect. It takes a lot of time, too. Oh, looks like we are staying here at the Mile Watch Tower after all. Let's join in an infantry assault here. So yeah, even I am sort of a perfectionist myself. Because I want all of my panels, all of my, all of my, all of my profile photos, panels, and everything to look as best, look as pro much professional as possible. Yeah. So yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot of work, but I'm taking this very seriously. Like today, for example, I don't know if you noticed, Jade Trash, but I was supposed to have started my stream about an hour and a half ago, but I ran into some technical issues. That's just probably happened when I started my my streaming through Ethernet cable instead of Wi-Fi. So yeah, this remote thing that I have doesn't work with Wi-Fi, unfortunately. So basically, I had to do a workaround. So yeah, I had to I had to do a, basically a workaround on uh, how to figure the streaming thing out. Uh, with just a single screen set up here, but I'm making it work. So I work with, with what I have here. Oh no, come on. Is that a grenade there? Okay, looks like we're finally done here and we're doing a mop up with 96 plus. We got a Zerg. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So yeah, um, let's see what we're going to do here. Basically, right now, I'm basically going by what the platoon leader is saying here. Thankfully, voice comms are working today. Uh, I'm not too sure what your the voice comm situation is like in the PS4, but in the PC version, uh, some days it works fine, okay, and some days it's just unreliable. I remember what it was like two months ago, a month ago, where voice communications were unreliable. Even if you tried to turn off voice and turn it on again, it did not fix the problem at all. So it basically felt like a lottery. You either get it working or you don't. But thankfully today, voice comms seem to be working. Because you can see, I'm pressing four. Proximity chat is working. Platoon chat is working. Outfit chat is working. Everything overall is working today. So looks like we are finally getting lucky today. We finally get to do. We finally get to coordinate. Feels very satisfying. Feels like heaven when voice comms are working. So we're going to be redeploying here. Excuse me. So let's redeploy here, and we are going to be going to Sunken Relay here. 10 minutes on the cap. I guess the main objective here is to go to Howling Pass. So yeah, hopefully you folks out there are having a good time there. I'm, basic, I'm very active on Twitter and Discord there as much as I can. All the information on what my Discord and Twitter are down on the panels below if you're interested. And an interesting feature that I got going here, it's nothing new, but anyway, all the stream chat that I have, I basically have it saved on my Discord server and one of my text channels. So if there's a, if there's something I missed on chat, I can at least look it up back in my uh, logs and my Discord server there. So that's the, that's the cool thing what I got going on here. Because if you got so many people talking, there's no way you can keep track of it all. But right now, I only got a few people talking, so that's working well for me here. So... We're finally going to be joining in on Howling Pass here. This is going to be interesting. Three-point base. So hopefully we got all this pop that's going to be uh, taking Briggs. It looks like we got Briggs. And if you take us out Eastgate, we're going to cut off all this territory the NC got going here. So we're going to be having an interesting fight here at Howling Pass. And we got a beacon here. Let's join in on the fray. So yeah, J Trash, hopefully having a good day here. Did you come home from work not long ago? Uh, did you come home from work not long ago, or you're just chilling for the day? Cause uh, I, cause I hear that the lockdowns are still in in effect from for the for the, the most part of the world here. So hopefully you're staying safe out there. Same thing for me. I'm I'm lucky to be still be working at this time. Oh yeah, J Trash One. Oh I see. Hmm, I see. 
Voice comms on PS4 work well except proximity chat. Hmm, interesting. Like, um, so when it comes to proximity chat, hang on a sec, I've got a battle here. So when it comes to proximity chat in the PS4, is it unreliable or does it sometimes work? I'm curious to know that because I never played the PS4 version. The last time I played a, P the, I played a console was uh, uh, the Nintendo GameCube back in the 2000s from a, from a demo on the, on the game store. Yes, the Nintendo GameCube. The last co game console that I actually owned was a Nintendo 64. Yes, the most recent game console that I ever owned was a Nintendo 64 back in the late 90s sometime or early 2000s. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, I, it's been a long time since I played a console here. It's possible to have a controller plugged into this game, I hear, but I'm just a typical keyboard and mouse player here. Oh, you're 16 years old, J Trash One. Uh, so J Trash One, I don't, I know my webcam quality is not the best, but you don't mind, get, you don't mind taking a wild guess on how old I am. The answer is already down there, but if you want to take a guess, feel free. I'm gonna tell you my real age anyway. I don't mind sharing that. Hmm. Hmm. Gonna, gonna miss his darling. Okay, just messaging you right now. Just having a conversation, regardless who comes in to enjoy my show here. Always interesting to, to talk to new people here. Sometimes work, Jay Trash? Oh, okay. Well, at least. 30? Uh, close. Hang on a sec. Close. Yeah, you were pretty close, J Trash. I'm actually 28. Yeah, right now the webcam I have is outdated, but I'm I'm I basically have to work with what I have right now. I already spent I already I, I invested on this condenser microphone here so that people can hear my voice very clearly. And. And not to mention, I also am going to get my profile photos and banners looking good as they can be, also. Good guess, too. Good guess. Ooh, a bit of strike. We're good. We're too far away for that. How are we doing on pop here at Helling Pass? And I got 96 plus. Perfect. We are going to get this base if we continue to have this amount of pop. And for some reason, the VS wants to do a three-way fight here at Howling Pass. Mm. The most, the, uh, the, the most, uh, the best thing that Bastion can really do at, uh, right now in this game are those Mauler cannons. I don't know if you can see it here on stream here, but it basically does quote-unquote artillery attacks, if you will, down to ground targets. That's what the Bastion is mainly uh, been doing so far in this game here. It helps get rid of uh, a lot of infantry targets, though. Oh, we get another orbital strike. Sometimes, in sometimes when it comes to these bases, sometimes you have. Uh, sometimes I get two or three orbital strikes happen in a row. Sometimes it's kind of funny. I'm not too sure if this happens in the PS4 version, but that's what I noticed here in the PC version after being playing this game for about four to six months now. We're basically guarding. Uh, st what's this called? B oh yeah, this is the B point here. So basically just. We're just hanging out doing guard duty here at this B point here. Yeah, good luck. Oh <laughs> yeah, good luck. Yeah, yeah, you got that right. Yeah. When it comes to uh, orbital strikes in this, g oh, I thought it was an orbital strike there for a moment. Um, when when they had when they had that Bastion uh, PTS uh, thing going on uh, back earlier this year, I think it was February or March. We saw orbital strikes happen almost every five seconds. I'm surprised it did not crash the server. It was that crazy. But it was a good test though, because uh, I don't know if you know this, but when it comes to these Bastion fleet carriers, the one in the air there, in the uh, back in the uh, early versions in the PTS, uh, sometimes these Bastions would desync and you can't, ca can't cause any damage to the uh, weak points. Basically, yeah. See, he tries when saying air support. Basically, yeah. Basically, yeah. Basically, yeah. Basically, yeah. 
Can I say revive this player here? I love I love playing combat medic in this game because I like being in a support role. I can't stand the sight of seeing this happen. Down players and there's not much you can do. I have a decent gun to go with too, and I get to heal these players here. Another orbiter strike. There was that Bastion Smash event that happened, uh, I think a month or two ago, where they had where they had uh, three versus three Bastions, but only two factions. Now that was a cool event. I don't know if you ever watched the movie uh, Revenge of the Sith, Star Wars Episode Three, but that opening scene from Star Wars Episode Three, Revenge of the Sith, is basically the best I can describe the uh, intensity of that Bastion Smash three versus three event. It can be that intense when it comes to air war alone. That's how intense it is. I can't even see where I shot at. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, again, we had three orbital strikes happen in this base. And it's a 96 plus, 96 plus fight here. So, let's look, check, check in on the territory we got right now. Um, this percentage meter is definitely not accurate. I don't think it is. I don't think it's accurate, I think. Because that's another bug this game has. It doesn't match what's going on in this map right now, necessarily. So sometimes you have to only rely on what you see visually. So if I'm not mistaken, um, I think NC has the slight lead when it comes to territory here, because the NC got slightly over half of the map, especially the, around this area right here. So I think the NC are winning this alert here. Do you know need to call us as a tank? Oh yes, yes, I know, in the PTS. They, yeah. Yeah, I've seen the new Colossus tank change a couple of times. Yes, I've seen the uh, Colossus tank uh, change a few times uh, in the PTS server. They made some changes to it. Like, for, what, like one of the bugs that I noticed was that the bashing hard points. Like, for example, if I had my Colossus tank right here, right here at the warp gate, if the Bastion was, if the, if the Bastion, the fleet carrier, was all the way down here at the bottom of the map, I can still see the red hard points. Yes, I can see the red hard points all the way that far away, even though there's no way you can damage the hard points. So, yes. Ooh, that voice was loud. But anyway, yeah, that's how loud the that's how loud the uh, so that's how, that's the, basically the bug the one of the few bugs that I noticed with the that Colossus tank has. Oh, and looks like we looks like one of the bastions has returned to orbit, so there's no bastions here anymore. We got four minutes left on this alert here, and the, the objective here, as you can see, we tried to get to Howling Pass, but unfortunately that failed. And look at the pop, it just backed away. So the best thing we can do right now is probably probably take some probably probably secure this territory in Briggs here. Plus we got enough time to defend it. So let's see what happens. Oh. So yeah, we're gonna heading over to Briggs here. Can I redeploy the Briggs from here? Nope, the game says no. So I have to drive over there from Galaxy Solar. Let's have some fun. I'm going to turn up the uh, platoon chat here now. One sec, I got a new message here. Uh, which one? The Colossus tank you're talking about? The Colossus tank, you mean? Yeah, I'm messaging you right now. Are you talking about the Colossus tank, you mean? About when it comes to which faction uses it? I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to understand what you're asking here. Okay, let's uh, take on a lightning okay, AP here. South, southeast. Let's use this lightning AP here. Hmm. Okay. Okay, we got a decent amount of air support here. Let's head on down. Okay. So, since I st see if you're still watching J, J Trash, I'm gonna ask you this question. If you're still watching, by the way. I've asked this quite same question to many other viewers before. So, just from the top of your head, what comes into mind when you think what's the greatest thing about Planet Side Two, and what's the least, what's your least favorite thing about Planet Side Two? What's your most favorite, and what's your least favorite thing? Try not to think too much. Just what comes into mind when you think of the most favorite thing about Planet Side Two, and what's your least favorite thing about Planet Side Two? So don't be afraid to be honest about what you think of that. So which faction uses it? All, all. Every single faction can use the. Uh, every faction can use it. Every faction can. Every faction can use the. 
Colossus tank. Yeah, every faction can use it. Alright, let's go and hit that southwest gate between the waypoint. As long as you are part of an outfit. As long as you are a part of an outfit. I'm just typing that in the message right now. We'll just ride this out the last two minutes. So yeah. Yeah, every faction can use the Colossus tank as young as you're a part of an outfit. It if I'm if I that if I'm pretty sure that's the case there, because you need resources to deploy the Colossus tank, if I'm not mistaken. Plus it encourages team play because you, it that tank can be vulnerable. Cause if you fire a shot with the main gun against the bastion, you lose HP and stuff like that. But I think they made some changes to that thing again recently. And we've got about minute 35 here. Sorry if I missed the action there, but I was busy talking to my viewers here. It's all about having fun and talking here. Like, just like decent human beings here. No, not not decent, simple human beings. Oh, you are all here to have fun. I guess I'm taking some inspiration from Bob Ross. I think everybody knows who Bob Ross is. Okay, minute, minute eight. Is there any armor I can destroy right here? Any targets to shoot at? Okay, there's that gun. Oh no. Still getting used to these tank controls. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna ditch it. Only 200 HP left. I'm gonna die. <laughs> no, this is crazy. Nice show by that galaxy, but it looks like he's dead. Okay, let's revive. We got 30 seconds left. We only got 30 seconds left, so we're gonna quickly check on the map. Had there has been any changes here. Uh, yeah, it looks like the NC might be winning this one. Esimir. We're going to Esimir. Okay. J Trash one is now saying, oh, the scale is, the scale is my favorite, yet I hate the frequency of death. Yeah, you, you are going to die a lot in this game. Uh, I forgot what the resources are called, but I think it's the same thing that you, that you do here in this game. Right? Like, for example, the armory. If I remember correctly, it, it, it's going to cause resources to deploy the uh, Colossus, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this screen right now. Yeah, see these war assets right here? I think that Colossus Tank is going to show up in the war assets here, and it takes resources to deploy it. This is what I mean here, yeah. And there's... Okay, the scale. Scale, as in... Yeah, as in... How big the, the fights are. I'm typing with just one hand, by the way. That's how slow I am here. And yeah, when it comes to the death in this game, try not to feel discouraged how many times you die in this game because your kill death ratio is something it's it's something you sh do not yeah kill your kill death ratio in this game. Do not think about that at all because um, it really makes no difference in this game. And if people judge you because of your kill death ratio uh, by a huge margin. You should not be with them. Talk is up. Go ahead and oh yeah, and how big this? Uh, uh, speaking, going back to what you were talking about, the scale of big fights. Yes, that is true, J Trash. This game is unique because of that. This game, when it comes to how big the fights are, that's the one thing this game excels at. Yes, indeed. Three, two, one. Drop. Indeed. Down. Yeah, indeed, J. Uh, Indeed, J Trash One. That's the thing about this game does best that other not many other games can do. Not even Call of Duty or or Battlefield can do something like this. You can't have. I don't think that Call of Duty Battlefield has had over ninety six players from two or three factions in one area. I don't can't think of. I don't think any other game has done that. It, it, the, the fights can get really really crazy in one area. And in my opinion, I'd rather play this game over Battlefield Call of Duty. At least here you can have fun regardless how good your gunplay is. That's just my opinion, but that's how I look at it here. So yeah. So yeah, that's good. Ooh. All right. This guy is nice. And we are going to be heading over to Stillwater here just to secure it. And we got warp gated by the VS. North Point Station. Excuse me. So yeah, we just joined it to Esimir and 
If I'm not mistaken, DVS warped us and started this whole hour and 30 minute alert. Let me look at the time here. 50 minutes. Yep, that explains it. VS warp gated us. I don't know what the what the overall uh, faction situation is like in the PS4, drop, drop, drop. but he, at least from my experience here in Emerald, the VS and NC likes to double team TR a lot. Again, not too sure what it's like on the PS4 for you, but at least on, here in Emerald in the PC version, oh, wow. TR likes to, TR gets double teamed by both the VS and NC a lot of the times. So yeah, it can, uh, it can honestly it can get a bit frustrating at times and makes it a bit, e a bit more difficult to win some fights. But at the end of the day, it's all about having fun here. Okay. So yeah, I st I like I still remember a lot of classics, like not just games in general, but when it comes to music, old games, and entertainment and films and stuff, I still think back to the old days. Well, not not necessarily the old days, but almost anything before the 2010s. Not really, uh, not really listening too much of uh, stuff in the 2010s onward here. So I always like the classics here. Looks like we're gonna redeploy here. Oh yeah, just redeploy. I think they have a Sunder there already. Sunder on southeast run. Yeah, I always like the classics like the Nintendo 64, PlayStation One, PlayStation Two. I still remember those days. Some good entertainment when it comes to games and everything are from the past. Some of them still hold up to this day. I don't, like, for example, I like playing driving games like Need for Speed, for example. I still play the old Need for Speed titles like Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2 and Need for Speed also 2005. Those games still hold up to this day. It's too bad they don't have any remasters for those, but they're still fun to this day. I think driving games are, are one of my biggest pros. When it comes to shooting, it's kind of rusty at this point. I don't know if you ever heard of the first-person shooter, shooter called America's Army 2, but that was basically a first-person shooter that was released uh, back in the 2000s, uh, mid-2000s, something like that, and it was developed by the U.S. Army at the time. But it was a fun game, though. It was very, it was very fun, and I remember putting my 110% on that game. And it looks like we missed. We had to go back to the vehicle terminal over there. So yeah, I, I I still remin remin I'm still reminiscing a lot of the classic that I used to play back in the day. It's all it's all for good fun too. Okay, let's finally redeploy here. What's what's going on with the vehicles here at the North Point Station? Okay, we got some armor there. It looks like they're probably gonna need more help. So we're gonna be lightning AP on PF4 in PS4. NC sometimes gets whooped on Haas and Indoor. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. Uh, a lot of double teaming. A lot of double teaming too. I'm just typing that on chat here. All just taking a bit of my time away from this game just to talk to you viewers out there. That's how that's how committed I am to this. Once you start it, you continue doing it until you end it. You just have to start where you finish. Okay, am I going the right way? Okay, I was going the wrong way for a second there. Great, are you gonna do a bit of a road trip here? Okay, so yes and no, J Trash. Uh, do you mind elaborating on that? Because, like I said before, I'm don't I'm not experienced with PS4 at all when it comes to the overall gameplay there. So, do you want to elaborate on that, J Trash? One, I'm just trying to focus on my driving here. Yeah, I'm just gonna focus my driving here while I make my way over to this base here. Hopefully we're gonna have some hopefully we're gonna have some fun here. Oh, depends on base. Okay. Okay, because I think the most popular bases are Waterson, Towling Pass, Quartz Ridge. Those are just a few obvious ones that come into mind. So I'm guessing when it comes to three point bases, I guess it, 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 it kind of really depends, right? Yeah. I get yeah, and and I suppose it also depends on those uh, relay stations also that only have a minute. So, speaking of which, uh, J Trush, when if you're still watching, uh, when did you start playing this game? By the way, I'm just curious to know when did you start playing this game? Did you start playing this game? Hang on a sec. Did you start playing this game recently? Months ago? A year ago? Yeah, I'm just curious because, uh, like I said in the beginning of my stream here, this game has gone through a lot of changes since this game was released in 2012. That's almost six. That's almost uh, eight years ago. I'm not very good at math. Eight years is a very long time for this game. Oh no! 
Let's back away. And we got 4896 here. Feeling a little bit of slowdown here. There's so much stuff going on here. Oh, come on. I'm getting rammed by this prowler here. Uh, get out of the way. Oh, no. Sorry, buddy. Okay. Is there anything to shoot at here? No. Here we go. I got two shots in on that tank before I died. Enemy in the bed. Let's go get it. Oh, like the crown. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. The, like the meme, huh? Uh, hang on a sec. You like the meme, the crown? Because everyone likes to say that. <laughs> oh, like a year ago, J Trash one. Oh, yeah, this, uh, like I was saying in the beginning of my stream with J Trash one, the, this game has gone through a lot of changes. I think the most obvious ones are they added construction three, four years ago, so you can build bases, stuff like that. Uh, the other thing that's obvious are the, 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 the design of the bases in the map. They've changed that too over the years. The mo the, the, so the amount of territories that they change, you could, I think you could almost write a novel to how many times they change this map here. Like for example, I don't know if you know this, uh, J Trash one, but they also they also had a base underground with only one way in. Don't, don't remember where this base was, but imagine this: it's a ba it's a base you can go. At this this point that you have to capture is deep inside the base. Only one way to get in, and uh, yeah, you can imagine how 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 unfun that can be. Yeah, you can imagine how unfun that is. Just only one paint, one way in, and an underground base. And what else about it that I remember? This one viewer told me. Yeah, this viewer. I'm just trying to remember what that viewer told me about this underground base. So yeah, it's uh, it had some dark lighting in there. I don't know if you ever played Donkey Kong Country One for the SNES, but uh, it it more or less had that had the caverns type of look and feel from that game. I, yeah, I like spouting out a lot of classic games here because I still have memories from my childhood. I'm a 90s kid, so yeah. I'm still reminiscing the times I played Super Nintendo games. That's why I remember playing a lot of my childhood. I mean, who doesn't know Super Nintendo games at this point? I think some of the new generation should look back on games that were released back in the past. A lot of hidden gems there if you really look around. Delta over on yeah, we tried to go for North Point Station here. It looks like we are slightly getting pushed out. And we're trying to get for which, which quad I'm in right now. Uh, looks like I'm currently in Alpha Squad. So our objective right now is to head over to... Let's check it out. Uh, where is Alpha Squad Waypoint there? It's covered by the map. Oh, yeah. Alpha Squad is right here, right? Oh, yeah, no, it's right there near the base. So, no. I may have to deploy another Sunder because it looks like our spawns are getting destroyed. So I'm gonna probably gonna have to drive over from Stillwater again to bring another Prowler, uh, Sunder. Oh, the Tech Labs? Uh, Tech Labs. No, the Tech Labs. No, no, it wasn't. This underground base was not a Tech Lab, if I remember, if I remember right. Uh, this one viewer told me it's an it's a typical underground base. There's only a few, only a few of them in this game because they. They changed the map design, like I told you. So, if you haven't played this game for years, you wouldn't even know they were there. Even I did not know that until the viewer told me. I was curious to know how much this game has changed over the years. Oh, you remember such a base. So, oh, you remember such a base. What's the name? I'm gonna. So, what's the name? Name me both platoon. Yeah, I'm just typing on the chat right now. If you know, if you know the, if you know the name of the base. If you don't know the name of the base, that's okay. But I'm always curious to know if I'm always curious to know uh, if what the history of this game a little bit. If I remember correctly, this uh, game used to have a much larger dev team back in the day, but uh, now it's now they've downscaled it, so it's a lot. It's a lot more tight knit when it comes to this gaming community here. So despite despite the despite the game dev team being small at this point, but in my opinion, it's a good thing because at least you get to know uh, at least you get to know who is who in this community. It's more fun to play in this game rather than being rather than being in a 
oversaturated game like Fortnite, for example. I saw Fortnite, but I didn't see the appeal of it. I just didn't. Supporting smaller games, in my opinion, is a lot more fun, especially when you get to uh, support it and have a build a community on it that uh, that is active on it, like this game, for example. Hopefully, this game gets more attention, despite this despite this game showing its age a little bit. How are we doing in this map right now? Looks like we are trying to make our way into C point, but we are not making any progress. We're holding B, but that's about it. Uh, I think I may have to. I think I may have to deploy my Sunder somewhere else. What do you think? Oh, that's okay. That's all right. That's all right. So I may have to drop my uh, Sunder somewhere else. Looks like there is a flash. Oh. Oh, we have a flash mob. I can barely see. Yep. It looks like we're done with this base. Yeah, we're there going after our spawns, he spawns here. I'm gonna die. Oh, I got froze. I got frozen there for a second. Uh, let me see if I go after these flashes. Is does this gun? Does this uh, Crowdle have a second gunner? Okay, I I'll man the gun for this probably if given the chance. Ooh, we got a kill in his flash. Nice. We killed two flashes in a row. It's always important to have a second gunner when it comes to a prowler. Uh, is there anyone else I can shoot at? Mm, no. Okay, let's see if we can shoot at that turret over there. No, too high. No, don't think I can get that turret. I'm gonna have to keep my eye open for any more flashes here. Oh, J Trash one is saying, but I remember it was part of Asian Amherst. I see. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, thanks for the sharing that information, J Trash one. Like I said before, I am keeping my eye on the chat here. It's always interesting to know more about this game here. There's that Reddit. There's that Reddit section that the devs are also active in. But honest, I don't have the time to scout through all of that. It's impossible. It's like it's like basically re like reading a book or something to go through that whole forum there. Okay, let's go after this harasser here. Oh no. Okay, let's go after these armor here. Let's go after this lightning here. Nice, nice. We haven't died so far. Okay, but let's go after let's go after that mag rider. Oh, I tried to go for that tank, but it moved. This gun is only good if it's if it, if any close range targets. Oh, we got another flash mob coming in. Let's go, let's go hunt them down. Too bad this. Oh yeah, this thing has a zoom. Let's use it. Okay, I I almost had that one there. We're trying to look for more flashes. This uh, this embank this thing is blocking the way. Any more? Can barely see. Oh, nice! That flash got taken care of. Oh, that oh looks like that infiltrator managed to knife that Max to death. Do you see that? That did, did I see that right? The Max somehow died from an infiltrator knifing from an infiltrator knife. Uh, okay, is there anyone else? Hang on a sec. Let me just uh, quickly heal this Max here. We've got a hostile Max in the area. Let's, let's do it. I owe you one. Yep. Always glad to help. That's why I like being a combat medic. Oh, nice kill there. Anything else to shoot at? Are we getting another flash mob? Oh, here it, here it comes the uh, Sunderers. Oh, nice. This gun is pretty not bad. Long range. Any more? Are we gonna get another flash mob? I'm just looking for, looking out for them. This is fun. You know, I'm not expecting a lot of kills when it comes to vehicle infantry, but just but when you finally get sweet moments like this, it feels feels really great. Anything else? 
Yeah, it's not the best position to be in. Is that? Oh, that's an enemy friendly tank. I thought that was an. I thought that was an enemy tank there. Forgot that Prowler is unique to the TR. So yeah, hopefully having a good show here, J Trash One. It's good to see you still talking to me here. It always feels good to have viewers talk to me here. Helps pass the time, and hopefully I made you I made you just a little bit better, just by having a conversation here. Okay. Oh, by the way, if you if you if you. We're going to go and try to push that farm along on the mirror side. Yeah, sec. Platoon chat is talking. Mm, okay. So yeah, so yeah, J Trash One. If you if you if you like the show that I'm doing right now, I got my stream schedule and all that information below there. If you want to check that out, I pretty much laid down all the information as best I could. If you're interested, I'm like like right now, for example, I'm trying to stick to my schedule to, as best as I can. If you're interested to know more about my schedule, I'm gonna post it on Twitter or Discord there. But preferably Discord if you're into that sort of thing there. That's where I keep everything up to date as much as I can. It's not easy to keep track of all the information uh, on social media. I'm still hope I'm still getting better at that, but hopefully over time, it's, uh, it's I'm gonna get better at it. It's definitely, it's uh, definitely it doesn't look easy to do it. No, it's not easy. But I'm having fun at this, so that's what only really matters at the end of the day. Oh, we got Winter Gaming over here. Shout out to Winter Gaming, by the way, if you're watching me right now. Let's revive these players. Come on, revive. Heal. Ow. Oh, someone threw a C4 in here. Okay, how are we doing in this map right now? Still struggling with the VS here at this North Point station here. And we're kind of losing territory in the south. No, that's okay. And it's currently 9, 8 p.m. MDT time here right now. So, not too sure what time it is for you folks out there, but I'm definitely glad I'm more mountain time here. Uh, quick fact. Um, I started playing in Connery, US West server, but overall, I wasn't happy with the overall pop, so I basically started playing, started playing uh, in Emerald because it has the higher overall pop. Because you get cool battles like this, for example. I, I don't know what the uh, this was before the uh, bash the escalation update. I think I think Connor has gone a bit more people uh, ever since the escalation update, but I'm sticking to uh, sticking to this. Uh, oh crap! I guess shut down too many people here, but I'm sticking to Emerald right now because I'm happy with it. Plus the community here is I I I'm I basically like to be in this one here in the Emerald. I'm gonna stick by it as long as I can. So yeah, good to see you having a good time there, J Trash. <laughs> yep, I, I basically just ran into a firing squad right there. <laughs> just ran into a firing squad. Uh, I I I did come across some weird moments in this game, especially a few bugs in this game. So I'm gonna talk about that here for uh, for a moment here. So I was so in one of my sh streaming shows, I was just looking at the map here, updating everybody that was watching what was going on, and uh, I kid you not, I saw a Bastion fleet carrier that was flying, flying this way. Look at this cursor. Look at the cursor in the middle of my, in the screen here right now. I saw the Bastion flying this way, flying southwest, and then somehow I saw the Bastion somehow fly backwards like this, just a little bit, like the Bastion did a moonwalk. I kept I captured that live on stream too, but unfortunately I had to delete all my old videos and clips and because um, I didn't want to get DMCA'd by copyrighted music. But everything's all everything's all good now. I'm starting fresh, especially from today. So all my vods now they're all copyright free. So but the next and the next time I'm gonna have some copyright free royalty free music playing so that it's gonna be a lot better overall and a much better viewing experience. So like I said to my viewers here. Especially UJ Trash. I basically only got seven or eight songs right now. And I can tell you, after an hour or two, you're going to get bored with that same music. So I'm going to try to include more. So it, it, there's more variety. Okay, yeah, that, that... We're just getting farmed at this point here in the VS. Yeah, we're just getting farmed. And it's right near our warp gate here. But then again, if you look at the map, we are trying to focus on the south front as well in the ANC. So we made, our forces are kind of stretched ten at the, at this point. So you could say we're sort of getting double teamed again. 
Nothing new here in Emerald, at least in the PC version. <laughs> yeah, so let's look at let's look at the map here again. We got we we all poppies. Hmm. So we're finally moving on here. We're not gonna get farmed here. But yeah. We got buses here. Let's go ahead and defend these buses in the meantime. Let's not let not lose. Yep, we're going to mine watch here. Let's see if we can get, make a push here. Oh, we got a back cap going here at uh, BL4. Let's check that out. How many points do we have here at BL4? Okay, are they trying to capture BL4? There is no connection to Eastern Way. So we got a minute 10 here. Yeah, we yeah we need to get all these three points here at BL4 if you have any chance of taking Mind Watch. So currently we looks like we may have a few go looks like we may have a few soldiers here at BL4. Yeah, let's go after. Okay, looks like they got taken down. This is B point. This is the last one. Yeah, indeed. Defend the buses for now, guys. Yep. We have to take BL4 first. That BL4 is going through. Let's go ahead and get on that A point. All three points are slowly getting here at BL4, so you should be able to cap it soon. Facility is secure. Awesome, awesome. Uh, hang on a sec. We got A. We only got two out of three points here at BL4. Trying to take care of A now. Yeah, we're trying to get to A right now. We only got two out of three. Oh, we got... Oh, looks like the got, got, guy got taken out. Now we just need to take, take, get A. Let's try to hold these three points so we can get the next base nearby. Oh, don't you just... Don't you just have those moments where someone sh goes in front of your uh, line of fire and you accidentally team, team kill them? You're on a point yeah. Up. Let's see here. You should be able to cap Mind Watch now. We got three points at BL4. Awesome. Simple things like that you have to inform your platoon. That's the best thing about this game when it comes to coordinating. Playing solo in this game can get old quick, in my opinion. That's why it's best to coordinate with an outfitter platoon that speaks, like the one we're doing right now. It's beautiful. There's an infiltrator. Let's try to see if we can take it out. Can't barely see it. Oh, he took took him out. Nice. Is Rockers and Simini Chai still working? Good, it's still working. Perfect. I was saying this earlier, and I'll say it again. It feels like heaven when voice comms are working. You actually get to coordinate with people. Yeah, it feels really satisfying. And it looks like Mind Watch is. Gunner. Thanks for jumping out when I needed you. Mind Watch is still not being capped. I'm gonna stay here at BL4 just a little bit longer, just to make sure all these three points are getting capped. How are we doing on Mind Watch? Still no cap going. But hopefully we, we can keep the BL4 here. Um, so yeah, JTrush1, if you're still watching, I don't know if you know Rel. He's a lead game designer of this game. I think he mentioned in one of these Q&As that backcapping this game can get very obnoxious. No, no. His exact quote was, backcapping this game is obnoxious. Obnoxious. And yes, it is. And, and, and it is. You're so focused on getting to the next point, but then you can't because someone is backcapping. Yeah. All right, this isn't going through. Looks like TR shifted as we came down here. We're going to have to chase a fight and get this going. This is a stalemate. Yep, it's a stalemate, but Eastern Way is going through, unless the NC wants to pop, commit more pop over there. So, yeah, we did our best. We did our best uh, trying to hold BF4 here. Pull from Frostwall and get down to Ymir Eastern Way, guys. Yep, Eastern Way is going to be the next thing to do here. Looks like they, they already got that thing going. So the idea here is if we can put pressure on Mind Watch and Eastern Way at the same time, we uh, might be able to capture at least one of these if we're lucky. But let's hope we don't get back cap here at BL4. Because you can't start a cap in Mind Watch if you if one of the points in BL4 is lost. So yeah, it's kinda of boring, and it is, but you know, I'm just gonna keep an eye here at BL4 because if you see if you look at the map on the bottom left, there's I don't see a lot of other TR players here. Yeah, it looks like I think I think I'm on like one or two players watching BL4 right now. 
How are we doing on the map right now? Eastern Way is slowly making some progress. Guys, that pop will shift over here and defend. Well, you know what? We have to make a sacrifice. We're going to be going to Eastern Way now. We're not going to waste any more time here. we got about 50 minutes left on this alert here. Let's do it. Okay. Looking at the map here right now, we are still struggling at North Point Station. It's a three-point base. I'm not too surprised. It's not easy to hold. Sometimes you need to overpop just to capture a three-point base. When you get here, get a beacon up. Beacon up. Alpha beacon is going up now. Eastern Way is finally going through. So if if enough TR stays at Mine Watch, just it'll keep the and it'll keep the NC off balance here. We may have a chance of getting at least one of these territories. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of repeating myself at this point, but it's just it's but I'm doing it's just to uh, remind any new viewers that are joining in. I can have some, I can have random viewers lurking in and out, so I'm doing my best to entertain whoever comes in and joins in, joins in on the show here. Okay, let's find where's the, where's the vehicle terminal. I I, as as you're here, get beaky, guys, push I once again forgot to use that feature. I don't have to run all the way to the vehicle terminal here. I forgot to do that again. Okay, uh, let's look at the map here. How much armor is at Frostfall right now? Uh, let's see. We got some uh, we got some Sunders there. But not a lot of anti-armor. So we're going to be deploying our lightning AP here. Let's see how much damage we can do. Looks like we got some Sky Guards rolling in. Oh no. I'm going solo here. No backup. So let's see how much damage we can do. Okay, looks like we already got our Sunders over there. Push right through and take those waypoints. Push right through and take the waypoint. See, stuff like that, uh, you can only, you only hear from most exper from experienced players in this game. Push right through those buildings, guys. See these waypoints there? That's the that's the plan when you push in. I know Widowmaker myself. He's the platoon leader. He's been playing this game for many many years, so he knows what he's talking about. Even if you're not experienced in this game, if you have experienced players helping you out, that's all you really need at the end of the day. I'm, I'm talking a lot of comments and stuff here, but you have to know these things if you want to have fun in this game. And especially when you memorize the map, it, it basically know by memory where to go. Even I don't know everything about this game. I've only been here for five, six months. Is there any targets we can shoot at? Nope. Okay, let's join. Let's just join on in the infantry assault here. Let's just ditch our armor. We should be able to get the point with at least a minute to go. If, if I'm not mistaken, it looks like we are pretty much got the NCs trapped in the in, the, in their spawn room, or that spawn or that teleporter room. Let's find out. Not a bad idea putting caltrops here. <laughs> I don't know if that's a clever or a meme idea. Let's revive this Max here. Oh, I know he's already got it. I don't know. What do you think? Is that a good idea? Really? Oh. I get shot from behind. So what was I saying? Do you think this is a good idea? Putting Caltrops in doorways here? I guess you could say it's a good idea to prevent, uh, to prevent uh, vehicles like flashes rolling in. But I don't know. I think it's a bit of a waste. But that's just my opinion. Okay, we're done here. Five seconds. We got the overpop. Sacrifice mine watch. We're going to shift back over to uh, give me your mine watch. Mine watch. Now, hopefully, we can keep Eastern Way and start mine watch at the same time. You know what? I'm going to stay here at this A point here to avoid a back cap. Not many people, not many people seem to remember it. That you need to have the eight points in the previous base just to capture the next base. So it kind of sounds boring, but you have to keep this point here. Maybe we got a Spitfire here. Oh, speaking of Spitfires, uh, I'm not too sure if you were here for this one, Jay Trash, but uh, uh, there was this uh, funny bug where players can spawn unlimited uh, Spitfires. Yes. So basically, in this room, you can fit ten Spitfires. You can basically have 10 Spitfires in one room. I'm surprised that did not crash the server. But I think it overloaded the servers a little bit. Waypoint, guys. Not the bio so yeah. 
I don't know if you remember that bug, but it was pretty funny just to see a lot of Spitfires in one room. <laughs> you can have a Spitfire army division or something like that. It was fun. So, yeah. What? Even blocks us? Mm, never mind. Yeah, so we're not going to the bio the biolab here. But we'll see how much of the TR is going to go into Mind Watch. Hopefully, we can keep Eastern Way. Just doing some good old guard duty here for a little bit. So, yeah, I've been saying this before also, but uh, wouldn't it be nice to see dynamic weather in this game? You know, like, Esimir is a snowy continent. What if we had a snowstorm here right now? That would make battles so, Im so, so much more interesting. But if I remember some viewers telling me that the... Uh, the game's engine is kind of showing its age at this point. Even dynamic weather can slow the game down quite a bit. Even if you have a, a, a an advanced computer and stuff like that, it can cause slowdown. That's also another reason why you don't see a lot of urban settings in this game either. It's kind of it kind of puts a huge uh, limit on the engine and stuff like that. it did not perform so well. It's a bit of a bugger, but. Despite the game's limitations, it's still fun though. Even if you don't get those urban environments type of thing and um, dynamic weather. It's, I mean, how cool would it be to get a, a snowstorm similar to what Donkey Kong Country 1 and SNES did back in the 90s? That would look so interesting. Again, I'm referencing a, I'm referencing a lot of games back in the day, but... I guess you could say I have a very strong feeling of nostalgia when I look back into those games I used to play back in my childhood or when I was younger. You can't get rid of those memories, especially when you look back on them. Death by 25 Spitfires in a room. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. You come across 25 Spitfires in one room and you get shut down instantly. <laughs> Oh, it, 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 they fixed that pretty quickly, if I remember right. But it was still fun while it lasted. <laughs> I can imagine the server did I guess, have a bit of a slowdown because of that, because it's an AI that's controlling the Spitfires. But it was still fun, though. <laughs> okay, we finally get the cap going there where we need to go. So let's head on over to that vehicle terminal. Uh, where is my lightning? Oh, okay, it's at the doorway there. Oh no, too late. Seven seconds. It's going to disappear. So I'm just going to spawn another one. So yeah. That would be cool as an... You know, that would be a cool April Fool's joke by the devs if they had 25 Spitfires in one room. And it's not by either faction. It's not a TR, NC, or VS faction. It's just a random faction that the devs made up and you get obliterated. That would be a cool April Fool's joke, but it would be a bit cruel. <laughs> It'd be like it'd be a good jump scare though in a way, especially if you're just one player. <laughs> oh wait, I'm giving devs ideas here. Shh. <laughs> That'd be very cruel. Alright, let's head on over to Platoon Waypoint here. We How much time we have left on that cap timer? Minute twenty-four. Okay. Hey, we should be in that base in about ten to fifteen seconds. We should be in this base very soon. Okay. They're breaching the floor, Alpha Delta. Or sorry, everybody, everybody. I'm All right. Looks like it's another ground assault here. No armor outside. Okay. If I remember correctly, we should be able to enter the base through here. Uh, what about here? I'm sure, everybody has a beacon on point. Oh no, wrong way. Fast. I guess you could say that's another bad thing about this game. It's not obvious where you need to go. The map doesn't even tell you where you, how you can even enter this base here. So I have to drive all the way around until I see or remember that, yep, that's an entry point. Yep, I need to drop all the way around just to know where the heck I'm going. Oh, nice air support there by the mosque. Mosquito for short. Okay, here we go. Finally. Here's here's the way to get in. Uh, come on, get up there. Oh, there, Jay Trash is saying there's the NC Operatives faction. 
Yes. Yes, but... Yes, but you need to pay for them. Yeah, but you need to pay for that, I think. And we captured this base. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, there's the NC operative, and as operative action, but yeah, you need to pay for that. Yeah, it's not exactly free. Yeah, and as operative action. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. So yeah, uh, we're down here at Mind Watch. We didn't get to watch most of the action there. We basically did all of it, and we got Biolab at the same time. Wait, we managed to hold on the Biolab for forty-seven minutes. Hmm. Cool. So we we are the yeah, BS are still keeping us tied on North Point Station there. I'm surprised they did not go for a Stillwater there. But then again, I think the NC are also pushing really hard in the BS right now. Also, so this is basically Planet Side here right now. Typical Planet Side three ways. <laughs> okay, we are finally moving over to somewhere interesting. We're going to Sun Reach. Let's join in on the ground assault here. So yeah. Speaking of uh, Outfit Wars, since P UPS4 players out there still don't have uh, Outfit Wars yet, uh, so I think you know at this point what Outfit Wars are, especially if you watch the live matches on stream. So yeah, they're basically clan war. They're basically clan battles that you have seen on stream there. Three factions duke it out, and basically whoever gets the, the highest amount of points wins the whole thing. They're taking a break from Outfit Wars this month because they got other issues in the game to deal with. That's what they said. But they'll be doing another Outfit Wars alpha, uh, alpha season next month. So who knows what kind of changes they have introduced that, that time around. But if I remember correctly, they might introduce uh, a new qualifying session. So in, instead of three days, eight hours each, it's going to be only be two days with six hours each. And yes, it's going to be very intense. You only get six hours and two days just to qualify for the final match. So if the devs do this right, that could become an esports type of thing, sort of. I think the game, at least on the PC, has enough players. Hopefully the PS4 uh, community has enough players also to do that, too. Hopefully you PS4 players out there are still hanging on, because hopefully you get to enjoy Outfit Wars with your PS4 controllers and all that. Oh, no. Okay, a lot of down players to revive. They're coming down the fast stairs. This is crazy. Ow. Oh. Someone gets into my white line of fire. See, you see that? I was just trying to get that player, and then I didn't realize a, a friendly player comes in, goes into my line of fire. Yeah. I'm not trying to team kill players here, but if someone gets into your line of fire, what can you do? Okay, we still got this spawn here, and looks like they are already storming A point here. But we still might have a chance of pushing back in there. We still got the pop advantage. Speaking of which, let's check in on the rest of the uh, map here. Watersons. Looks like Watersons uh, got captured. I think the NC was holding on to it. I would. Um, no, no, no. I could be mistaken. And looks like North Point Station. Looks like it was starting to get capped, but no, got pushed back. Oh, well. You know what? Let's just join in on the fray here and see if we can take certain reach. Let's uh, let's change classes here. I've been playing combat medic for the last I don't know hour, so let's just switch things up. And this is gonna be my loadout. This is gonna be my loadout. Still trying to get a hang on this MSWR gun here, but let's give it a try. And we got the decimator to roll with this as well. So let's uh, join in our heavy assault and see how much damage we can do. Okay, let's go in through here. Looks like we are back on the point. Now it's a bit tricky to hold on to this point. This is crazy. Okay, looks like they're just outside these doorways here. Okay, let's try to hold these points. Can barely see because of the smoke. Oh, come on. All right, that's the thing I'm kind of worried about right now. The grenades can easily kill us all. I peel out just a little bit and I get killed like that. Just peeling out just a little bit like that, and I get killed. I don't think I'm gonna get revived here. Oh, thanks for the revive. Let's use our armor. 
There's the Max. Trying to go for a headshot here. Oh, a C4 got me. That's what I dread the most. Especially when I'm using cover like this. I'm going to fall back. Okay, what's going on? I can't see. I'm waiting for that smoke to go away. I can barely see. Trying to hold that point. Being at 50. Oh, Jesus. This is crazy. I can't see. Oh. Those concussion grenade C4s. Very deadly in a crowded area like this. Okay, let's see if we can push here. Let's push them out. Light assault. Yeah, I got your car mowed down. Oh no. I can barely get a shot in because all these players are getting in the way. Yeah. I always... T I mm, there comes that concussion grenade again. I tried to let the uh, Maxes go. I, let, I tried to let the Maxes uh, be at the front lines instead of me. Because they have more armor than heavy assault. Come on. Come on. Holding these fat stairs. We call these. We call this area the fat stairs for those that don't know. It just makes it easier to, just to remember. And these are the... I forgot what this is called. But I guess you call it the side stairs. Finally pushing them out with 46 seconds left. Infiltrator? Can't tell. Now we're about to hold down this bottom area here. See? So you have to be very careful where you shoot at, or else you shoot shoot a friendlies. You have to be very careful where you place your shots. Holding the fast stairs here, we got a good firing line going right now. I can barely get a shot in without shooting friendlies here. How did I get killed there? Oh, concussion grenade. Yeah, try not to stick with a crowd like that or else you get a concussion grenade on you or a C4. Four seconds. We finally got this base. See, sweet moments like this. See, we got like 96 plus there. So you get, you get sweet battles like that. 96 plus. Um... JTrash1, quick question for you. If you're still watching the stream right now, does PS4 get 96 plus fights also? Is it rare or does it happen all the time? Because again, I haven't played the PS4 version. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't see a lot of it. I, I guess from my, from my eyes. So does PS4 get a lot of 96 plus fights like 96 plus fights like this? I'd be interested to know. Because um, I'd be very, I wouldn't be surprised if the PS4 can handle that many players in one area, just like the, what the PS, PC version can do. So it looks like we are heading back to North Point Station. That area has basically been a farm, uh, VS has basically been farming the TR there for the last half hour. So let's see if we can capture North Point Station at all. We got about, oh yeah, the captain just went back to zero there again. So, you, you know what? We're just going to spawn at the warp gate. And I forgot to deploy that feature again. You know what? I'm going to show you that, what that feature I'm talking about right now. So, let's just redeploy once more. I once again forgot to deploy that feature. I'm going to show you what feature I'm talking about. Here we go. We redeploy here. And here. This is the, ve the feature I'm talking about. Spawn as. Click a vehicle to respawn into. No need to run to a vehicle terminal. So let's do this. Spawn a lightning, AP lightning. And just do that. You get two loading screens though. See, that's a very handy feature there. No need to run to a vehicle terminal as soon as you spawn in. But sometimes that feature will not work because um, either the vehicle terminal is hacked, destroyed, or there's simply a big, heavy, there's a big queue on it. Yeah, it's a bit weird that you have two loading screens there when you use that feature. Not too sure what it's like in the PC version, uh, PS4 version, but uh, but in the PC version, you get a lo you get two loading screens when you use that. Yep. So let's see if we can deal with this North Point Station situation right now. Like I said, this place has been contested for the last half hour. BS has been keeping it, but I think the TRs finally. Deploying more pop just to deal with this. Okay, we got a lot of air coming in. 
This looks very cool. All right. That's a uh, enemy Valk. Try to go for a shot for that Valkyrie, but failed. Let's go for that Valkyrie. One shot. Yeah, my aiming is still way off. I need to get the zoom. I need to spend the search in the zoom for this tank here so that I can get a better shot at shooting targets from far away. How much pop do we have here at Darkpoint Station right now? Okay, we finally get 96 plus on this. Sometimes, sometimes to even win bases in this game, you sometimes you need a large pop on it. But take a th look at this way: at least you get a, uh, at least you get intense fights when there's a lot of players in one area. So I can't complain too much. Okay, let's join in on the action here. What points do we got captured right now? Okay, uh, we got B and C, but A is going to be difficult to get into. Let's uh, join in on C. How do we get to C from here? Okay, looks like we got a direct route. That's another thing in this game. You need to remember the bases. Takes a lot of memorization. Even after five or six months, I still don't have them memorized. Okay, we are keeping this base. Good, good. How are we doing in the overall map right now? Looks like we're just doing guard duty at North Point Station right now, at least where I am at. And it looks like the NCR finally making a push on the VS right now, especially Jager's Crossing, Tree Point Base. So it looks like the NCR are sort of doing what the, we are doing right now. Two points. A is not going to be easy to get into. It's almost close to their spawn area. That's what I think. That's what I think. What makes North Point Station difficult. But the only way to get in there is to swarm in numbers. Excuse me. Let's try to make a push there if you can. The only way to get in there is to push here. Go inside here. How do we go, go through in here? Oh, you have to go through this bay, garage bay here. This is not going to be easy to get in. Jeez. You know what? I need to move my mouse here a little bit. Hang on a sec. I'm trying to get a good grip of my mouse and keyboard here. Okay. All right. Let's make try to make another push for A here. Okay. Should be able to deploy now. Okay. Let's give this another try. Oh, boy. That's a killing Guron right there. Let's try it, Frank. Let's try going there another way. Maybe try going through here instead. No, that's a long way around. Let's try jumping up here if we can. Let us all here. This is not a very good area to jump, push in through. Jesus. They got a lot. They got a lot of people watching over from the top there. This won't be easy to push in. Trying to push you into this garage here. Ow! Ow! That area is hot. Jesus! I can't push in there. Ouch! VR one hundred and two. How can we? Okay. Well, let's try something else. Looks like B and C are okay. No need to worry about those. I'm not going to accept that revive. Let's try going a different way. Let's spawn over here and try to make through this catwalk if we have a chance. Let's spawn in. How do we get up there? Don't tell me I have to go all the way around just to get up to this catwalk here. Is there any way to get up there? Nope. What about over here? Can I get up there? Okay. Stairs. That's good. Can I get through here? Oh, this is the rooftop. Can I get up there? Okay. Good, good. I, I can finally get in there. 
let's push in to A point from here. Can I get through here without dying? Oh no. Ouch. Yeah, I got shot from... I got shot from my right side when I didn't see him. Yeah, no wonder no one is going through this way. It's a killing ground. Looks like we are slowly making some progress going through here. Looks like this is the only best option here. I'm going to switch to a combat medic because I'm seeing a lot of people drop dead and right. Okay, let's switch to a combat medic here. Figure it's best to be in a support role. A lot of fire coming from this tower. It's not easy to push in. Oh no, no, don't die. That was close. Trying to push in here now. Can I get through here? Oh no, here. Okay, we're trying to get through these stairs. I can't see. Can't see through that smoke. This is crazy. These stairs. Oh. Okay, we're trying to get up these stairs. We're slowly making a push here. Trying to, stick too, trying to stick too close or you'll get killed by grenades. We're slowly making a push in. Oh no, here comes the maxes. Let's keep an eye on those. Let's keep an eye on anyone coming down from those stairs. They are getting, they're keeping us pinned down. Can't go up these stairs. It's not, they're not making it easy for us to get up these stairs. The only thing I can do right now is to shoot anyone coming down these stairs. Oh no, I get another concussion grenade. This is what happens when you get a concussion grenade on you. You can't see and you can barely move your you can barely move your mouse. Come on, let's try to push in there. Slowly pushing in and we're losing B point. Is there any bad B? Hopefully someone's gonna take care of B. I'm trying to push in here. Throw in that res grenade in there. Res grenade should drop there. Perfect. Res grenade comes in useful when you got a lot of players down. Yeah, they got these they, they got that area covered pretty well. I can't push in there. And we got 96 plus too. I won't be surprised if that's B way. How are we doing on the rest of the map here? We're still getting farmed with the VS here. Okay, looks like we are keeping the rest of the map here, surprisingly. And we're making some progress. We are making some progress on other fronts. And it looks like the VS has the lead in territory right now, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we only got 23 minutes left here. The options are running low right now. And yeah, if I'm not mistaken, I think... Uh, I think TR is in second place while VS is first. Okay, let's give this a try here. One second. We're, let's try to spawn in here. Let's try to uh, do this again. There's, an out, there's a player in outfit chat saying just caught up playing cheating video shooting, shooting walls. Well, some, some cases you're going to come across cheating players. Oh no. Hog a corner. I don't think it. Ma I don't think it seems to matter what kind of multiplayer game you're going to be playing. You're always going to come across cheaters no matter what. It's kind of inevitable anyway. But as long as there's not too many of them, I think it's okay. We got two points again, but we're still struggling to get into the eight point here. We're still keeping a lot of maps elsewhere though. Are we getting revived? No. It was a good try, though. Uh, there's really not many options here. The best we can do right now is just repeat this all over and over again. So, we basically go down. Hang on a sec. Let's revive this player here. Go down here and try to go up those stairs, which is not easy as it looks. 
Jesus, there's a lot of down players. Yeah, they they got those stairs covered. No, this is not easy. I don't think you can use light assault to get up there. Yeah, they're already pushing us out of the main building. Can't really can't make a push in there. Yeah. There really is not many other way to get in there. Still struggling to get in there. Can't really stay near the doorways, otherwise we otherwise I'll get a grenade and I'll die. Oh, I almost died there. You see that? I almost okay, died. Okay, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and nuke that tower, okay? You let everybody else know that I'm gonna be no nuking that tower, okay? Another orbital strike. Another orbital strike. And we got about 20 minutes left. I'm gonna back away. Let's get a good shot at that orbital strike, then. Let's go into a high vantage point here. Let's watch it. You heard the man in platoon chat. Let's watch it. Hopefully I'm far enough away before that happens. Let's watch it. Just waiting for that old bear strike to happen. This will be an interesting show. Mm, nope, not seeing anything yet. Nothing yet. So yeah, J Trash One, if you're still watching, hopefully you're st hopefully you're having a good time out there. Hopefully, um, hopefully you're enjoying the show here that I got going. My mouth is being beginning to feel a little bit dry at this point. Forgot to bring water with me. <laughs> okay. Still no sign of the orbital strike. Maybe they maybe they maybe they changed their mind. How about this? North Point Station is slowly getting through with only two points. But at the very least we're taking the base, even though they even though the VS did keep us back here for a long time. Oh, someone in that voice someone in the yell chat is saying Oh here we go. Let's watch it. Watch this orbital strikes. Hopefully I don't die. Watch it. Perfect, I didn't die. That was luck. Hopefully you enjoyed that orbital strike there. I'll I'll try to face my camera that way so you enjoy the view. Finally. Well, even if we can't go to A at this point, we are finally getting the base after only having two points. Nope. Even with just two points, at least we win it. That's the main thing. So yeah. So what you just witnessed is basically far classic farming. Try to push in this main building and f and can't really get in there. There could be light as there could be an army of light assaults trying to go into the second floor, but I didn't really see that much happen. I think that could have made it possible to push into this base here a little bit better. But I don't think that would have made a big of a difference. Not much of a difference here. B is okay, I think. Someone in chat is saying, what's the status on B? And looks like it's still being kept. Another two long minutes to go here. So let's check in on the map here, shall we? What's going on with the rest of the map here? Looks like Jigger's Crossing is still being kept by the VS. The NC trying to make a push on it and failed. Okay, excuse me. Uh, looks like Echo Valley is going down. We're lo basically losing a lot of territory left and right. And we get an infiltrator just sniped me to death there. Okay. And Immersound Reach. We're still holding on to a decent amount of territory in the south. But I think we're still t we're going to be getting second place at the, at the end of all, of all this. So North Point Station is... F look, look, it looks like we have to get back to B point. Let's push into B. It's, yeah, we're getting back on B point slowly here. Okay, we'll go through this doorway here. Go up these stairs and hold on to B. Push the advantage. Hello? 
like most of the pop is tied up at A. Perfect. Another two long minutes just to get this base. Yep. Another two long minutes. Well, we almost got this base. Going to A was pretty much impossible. So if you've been watching me play play this at this base for the last 20 minutes, it's almost impossible. Hmm. Yeah, another 50, another minute 55 until we finally get this base. Base. Wow. Who's talking in proximity chat? Oh, you get people like that speaking proximity chat saying who can drive or who cannot drive. You gotta love those, don't they? You're always gonna get that one player out there that's gonna have to ruin the mood, especially when you're having a good time. Not much you can do about that, really. All right. Not really much to do here. Trying to push into that A point, you're gonna get farmed. Oh, they're making, trying to make a last minute push at C now. They know that they're losing C, so they're gonna make a push on that. You know what? We're gonna go for C. I don't wanna do guard duty at B here, so let's give a try at C now. Yep. That's what that's what that orbiter strike was for. Let's give it a try. There's a Sunder right there. Got about four minutes. Let's help push in and we're gonna deploy as heavy assault this time around. Okay, let's try to defend C here. Well, at the very least, we finally get to keep C. And we finally get to capture this base after grueling 30 to 40 minutes of fighting. This base is finally being lost. Kept most of the pop died down when we could have gone somewhere else. I'm surprised Stillwater is not being capped, despite uh, Epigenetics being held by the VS. Not communications, okay. Yeah, VS is going for the cutoff at not communications. We could also go for Apex and cut them off, but I'm not too sure if the rest of the TR is going to do that. Okay. If, if, the, if the rest of the TR is going to figure it out, they could also try going for Apex Genetics while we try to defend not communications. So let's give not communications a try. Oh, you know what? I could try making a poke at Apex Genetics. Let's put a Sundra there. Putting a poke at, poke, putting a poke at Apex Genetics is not a bad idea either. Let's give that a try. Let's deploy our Sundra here. Thankfully, the spawn room was close by. Okay, let's put a personal waypoint at Apex Genetics there. It looks like there is a Sundra going there. Looks like they're thinking the same thing I'm doing right now. Yeah, put a poke, poke Apex Genetics. Keep the VS pop a bit off balance here. Instead of having them focus on just one. Let's see if the VS is paying attention when this face gets poked. Yeah, let's see if they, let's see if they're gonna notice. And we go down this cliff here. We got quite a bit of a drive to get to this base. I'm only got 12 minutes left, but I still think poking this base is a good idea. We still got another 1,200 meters to go. Minute 20, huh? Double stack is okay for the most part. Let's push right up to powerhouse. Can't wait to share my back my new background music to you guys. I'm still working on that. Alpha waypoint, alpha waypoint. Still building up that music library so that this stream is going to be a lot more entertaining. Okay. Am I, am I at the right base? I went to the wrong base. Didn't realize that personal weapon was over there. Okay. I kind of lost them two minutes there by going the wrong way. And there's already a Sunder there. Okay, let's see if we can keep this point right here. 
And look at there's a psych going in for that ghost cap also. Inside, inside, inside. Now, now, now. I know what they're trying to do right now, but we could also do a poke here and see what we can do. I'm almost at the point here. Looks like we got at least three players here at the Epic Genetics. Okay, let's deploy the Sunder right here. Jump forward to Apex, between waypoint. We have Sunder is deployed. I've got eyes on an enemy spawn point. Okay, <laughs> yeah, they're losing Knot, but we're cutting this off. So this is going to help us quite a bit. We got another Sunder there. Can I spawn in this thunder? Still got another five seconds. Volunteers bringing some more buses here. We're gonna need more. Huh. Perfect timing that I got here quickly at the pitch genetics. Only got one more thunder left. Let's deploy beacon here. Let's see if it can deploy high up. Okay, can I get up here? You know what? I'm just gonna deploy my light assault here. Let's see if I can get up here. Let's see. Deploy it here in this rooftop here. Ah, uh, nope. Bad idea. Bad idea. Okay, let's spawn right here. How, ma how much time we have left here in base genetics? Minute 55. Well, VSR are going to be losing two territories if you capture Apex. Still holding a Dweka Valley, surprisingly. Okay, where's A point? Okay, it's up this hill. Let's hold on to this A point as long as we can. Still got a minute 40. Ouch. Oh, that player is almost dead. Minute 25. This is getting, getting close. Almost an another concussion grenade gets me. Oh, they're doing a last-minute save on this Apex Genetics here. We have a minute through 12 to go. They're doing a last-minute save on this one. Let's see if that helped them. Minute 5. We're still we're getting more TR backup on this. Hopefully that's enough. Spawn as a combat medic here. Uh, let's try to hold that point for another 50 seconds if we can. TR pop is still on our advantage here. Got them on their heels so far. We got enough pop here. We should be able to hold it just a little bit longer. We're getting more TR pop here. Yep, slowly getting more pop here. Now communications is... There's a still a strong presence on that not communications. And we're now getting a, an NC cap at Echo Valley. But hopefully we can get the Apex Genetics in time. Slowly getting more TR pop here. You, I think we're going to call this a wrap once we finish uh, it, Once we finish this alert here to, at the uh, alert here at Ezemir. It's been a good time though. I had lots of fun. Okay, let's uh, spawn in here. See if you can go push res back an eight point. I got a router on me. Come on, you can res me. <laughs> Let's see if you can push to A point. We're almost done with this base. We still have a chance to get back into the base. And we have seven minutes left, too. Yeah, let's see if we can push in here. Yep, see if we can push in. Throw in a res grenade there. Ow. I got shot from the side there, unfortunately. Still holding to Echo Valley somehow. Echo Valley is still being held, which is surprising. Well, if you managed to... Oh, wait, no. We got listening post. They got listening post. See, this would not make a big difference at all. Oh, wait, no, it would cut off at least... No. It was a good try, though. Minute 54. We got a router here. Let's hold on to this router. 
Let's go down these stairs. Okay, throw a res grenade there. That was easy. Let's jump over here. Let's help this player revive. Ouch. Ugh, I get shot when I'm not paying attention. Minute 15. Minute 14. Another orbiter strike. Minute 5. Is the router still alive? Let's use that. Oh, no. Yeah, that router is dead. Good try, though. I don't think we're going to be able to get back on point now. But we're going to try again. We only got five minutes left here. Okay. Beacons again? Okay. Another five minutes left on this alert. And we think we're going to call it a night here. One moment here. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Let's go up here. Let's deploy beacon on the roof. We still have a small chance to get back. Okay. Here we go. Not a bad area to put it at. That's a... That's a friendly liberty... Li li liberator. Okay. Okay, perfect. We still got decent stuff going here. Perfect. Apex Genix. How are we doing here right now? Looks like we only we can't really push there. Almost lost all. Doesn't look like we're gonna be able to get in there. Looks like they're already pouring in through here. Oh, I almost died there. That was close. Ouch. Too late to see that guy. No, no. This that's, this fight has gone to a stalemate. With only four minutes left. Nope. Doesn't look like we're going to be able to keep this base much longer. Good try, though. Yeah. This was a good this was a good fight, though. But this doesn't, it doesn't look like it's going to go in our way here. Oh, well. Okay. Three minutes left here. Looks like there's no change in the platoon waypoint here. Okay. Let's uh let's just look at the map here. Hmm. No, looks like they are slowly going into our spawns. Not much we can do. What if we go to Manny Fortress instead? See see if we can cap that. You know, let's give that a try. We're going to Many Fortress. Just waiting for the platoon leader to make a call. Fortress. Yep. <laughs> Somehow I kind of had the, had the same thought as well. Let's uh, go downstairs and head in, and uh, spawn in with our with our uh, center here. Pop platoon waypoint for now, guys. Only two minutes left. Okay, perfect. Okay, let's spawn in our sun radar. Only two minutes left. Oh, the Spitfire turned away. <laughs> that's why I thought why I heard it. What? That's why I hit. That's why I thought I wasn't moving. Two minute twenty. Let's enjoy the last two minutes here. Let's see how much more carnage we can cause here. Friday night. Oh, we got some decent armor action going on here. Another orbital strike. How are we doing on pop here? Minute 30. Okay, looking at the map here, it looks like the VS has the lead on pop. Yeah, VS has the lead on pop here. As soon as you get here, putting beacon up for your squad. Okay. It's been a good amount of fun, though. Can't always win everything. 
Minute 38. Okay, let's jump in. Let's push in. Minute 19. Not a ghost cap, but it's definitely going our way, though. Oh, wait, no, no. We think we, we lost his base. We did this amount of time. No, there's no way we're capping it. Nope. We lost this base. Ah, and this alert is going to be going for the VS here. Yep. This alert is going for the VS. No quit in a TR, this 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 percentage meter doesn't reflect what's going on here right now. I think it. I think that's what's going on in Amherst right now. Yep. Oh wait, no, that's. I know. I think that reflects what's going on here as a, as a mirror after all. Because. Well, there's the cutoff there. Yeah, there's the cutoff. That explains it. Never mind. Well, oh well. We had... We, had, we, did, we tried all we could. Can't always win everything. Oh, right. We're going to be wrapping this thing up here. It's about 15... Yeah, it's been a long night here. After two hours, I'm slowly getting a bit tired here. So I can't wait to show my new setup to you guys. Profile photos, banners, everything. Can't wait to show that to the rest of you here. And with this alert done, I think this pretty much goes to the VS here. The VS yep. And with that, uh, we're, we're going to wrap things up for tonight here. Hope to see you all next time. And thanks for tuning in. And thanks for that follow, uh, JTrash1. I'll see you all next time.